Hello and welcome to Cosmox, today we're gonna talk about the top 5 most beautiful nebulae ever discovered. Take a break from reality because you are gonna see some of the most fascinating thing in the universe. Nebulae are undoubtedly some of the most beautiful objects in the universe. They are one of the signs of the fact that even the stars, so apparently firm and immutable, are born somewhere, and then they also meet an end. Nebulae are clouds of dust and gas that extend even for hundreds of light years where a star once shone. Some are born as a result of supernova processes, in which the material that made up the star spreads in the surrounding space forming the so-called supernova remains, others, the so-called planetary nebulae. Dark nebulae are regions of dust so dense and compact that light cannot escape, there, the necessary conditions are created for the formation of new stars. Finally, there are the high regions, clouds of ionized hydrogen in which new stars have recently formed, which, with their newborn energy, energize the surrounding gas. But now let's get started. Number 5 is the Crab Nebula. The Crab Nebula is a supernova remnant visible in the constellation of Taurus and was discovered in 1731 by John Beavis. The nebula, now more than six light years wide, is formed by the expanding gases expelled during the explosion of the supernova 1054. The supernova that produced it was first observed on July 4, 1054 and was recorded by Chinese and Arab astronomers at the time. Its brightness was such that the apparent magnitude of the event was between 7 and 4,5, making it visible to the naked eye during the day, surpassing the apparent brightness of Venus. But the Crab Nebula is located about 6,500 light years from the solar system. Therefore the event that produced it actually occurred 6500 years before 1054, that is about 5400 BC. At the center of the nebula is the pulsar of the crab, neutron star with a diameter of about 28 to 30 kilometers, discovered in 1968. It was the first observation of an association between pulsar and supernova remains, a fundamental discovery for the interpretation of pulsars as neutron stars. The crab nebula is often used as a calibration in X-ray astronomy. It is very bright in this band, and its flux is stable, except for the actual pulsar. The latter in fact provides a strong periodic signal that can be used to control the timing of X-ray sensors. In X-ray astronomy, crab and millicrab are sometimes used as flow units. Very few X-ray sources have a brightness greater than one crab. We continue with the Horsehead Nebula which is in the fourth place of this heat. The Horsehead Nebula is a dark nebula in the constellation of Orion. The nebula is located just below Alnitak, the easternmost star of the Orion Belt. It is part of a gas and dust turbine, shaped like the head of a horse, hence the name. It is one of the most recognizable nebulae and notes of the sky, even if it is difficult to observe it visually, its characteristic shape can be identified only through the photographs of the area. It was discovered in 1888 by Williamina Fleming by examining photographic plates at the Harvard College Observatory. The darkness of the nebula is mainly caused by dense dust, although the lower part of the neck casts a shadow on the left. The gas flows leaving the nebula are channeled by a strong magnetic field. The bright spots at the base of the nebula are young stars in formation. The light from the Horsehead Nebula takes about 1,500 years to reach Earth. At the bottom step of the podium is the Helix Nebula. The Helix Nebula is one of the closest planetary nebulae to Earth. It is 200 parsec or 650 light years from Earth in the constellation Aquarius. It was discovered by Carl Ludwig Harding before 1824. It looks very similar to the Ring Nebula. It is also similar in size, age and physical characteristics to the Handlebar Nebula. The significant differences in appearance are a consequence of its proximity and the different angle from which it is observed. The Helix Nebula has often been called the Eye of God since at least 2003. The Helix Nebula is one of the most spectacular examples of a planetary nebula, created by a dying star that was once similar to the Sun. The cloud has a surprisingly complex geometry, including radial filaments, outer rings, and gaseous thickeners of unknown origin. When the fuel needed for nuclear fusion reactions runs out, the medium small mass stars meet at the end of their glorious life, expelling the outer gaseous layers and leaving behind a dense, hot nucleus, a white dwarf. Typically, a white dwarf has dimensions similar to those of the Earth, but a mass very close to that of the original star. The intense ultraviolet radiation of this residual nucleus heats the gaseous layers expelled, making them shine. 
the white dot visible at the center of the cloud is the dense white dwarf, towards which thousands of finger-like filaments point, rising from the inner edge of the nebula. These elongated structures were formed when a strong stellar wind impacted on cooler layers of gas and dust ejected earlier from the star and appeared to form a necklace. The beautiful shot highlights the glow emitted by oxygen, blue, and hydrogen, red. The main ring of the nebula is about two light years wide, but the ejected material extends to at least four light years from the central star. In second place is the beautiful Eagle Nebula. The Eagle Nebula is a large H2 region visible in the constellation tail of the serpent. It is formed by a young open cluster of stars associated with an emission nebula composed of ionized hydrogen, catalogued as IC 4703. Its distance has always been relatively uncertain, but it tends to accept a value of about 7,000 light years from Earth, thus placing it in the middle zone of the Sagittarius arm. There are some young stellar objects in them, which testify that the processes of star formation are still ongoing, although it is not clear whether these are favored or opposed by the action of the stellar wind of nearby stars, nor is it clear whether the wind actually affects these phenomena in any way. The cluster is composed of a large number of very warm and bright blue supergiants. Their typical age is only 2 to 3 million years, that is less than a thousandth of the age of our sun. The brightest star in the cluster is of magnitude 8.24, well visible even with binoculars. An incredible thing that belongs to this nebula and that is estimated to have 460 very bright spectral stars 1 million times brighter than the sun. The winner of this ranking is the beautiful and fascinating nebula of Orion. The Orion Nebula is one of the brightest diffuse nebulae in the night sky. Easily recognizable to the naked eye as an object of non-stellar nature, it is placed at the center of the so-called Orion Sword, in the constellation of the same name. Located at a distance of about 1,500 light-years from Earth, it extends for about 24 light-years and is the region of star formation closest to the solar system. Old publications refer to this nebula as the Great Nebula, while earlier astrological texts reported the same name of the star Eta Orionis, Ansys, the sword, which is located elsewhere in the constellation. It is one of the most photographed and studied objects of the celestial vault, and is under constant control due to the celestial phenomena that take place inside it. Astronomers have discovered in its innermost regions protoplanetary disks, brown dwarfs and intense movements of gas and dust. The Orion Nebula contains an open cluster of very young stars known as trapezius. Observations with the most powerful telescopes, especially the Hubble Space Telescope, have revealed many stars surrounded by rings of dust, probably the first stage of the formation of a planetary system. The nebula was recognized as such in 1610 by a French lawyer, Nicolas Claude Fabry de Paris, although, given the size and brightness, it was certainly known even in prehistoric times. Ptolemy identified it as a star of the sword of Orion, of magnitude 3. The Orion Nebula is part of a large nebulosity complex known as the Orion Molecular Nebula Complex. The complex extends through the entire constellation of Orion, including the Barnard Ring, the Horsehead Nebula, M43, and the Flame Nebula. The video ends here, like if you liked it, subscribe to the channel and comment what you would like to see or discover in the next video. Bye!